my favorite um, scrub and this one is from Neutrogena. This is the Oil Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Foam and Scrub. Absolutely love, love, love this scrub. I um, scrub my face with this at least twice a week. You're not supposed to scrub your face a lot just because that makes your pores open up even more. Um, and I have pretty large pores like right here and I absolutely hate them. Don't even let me, don't even let me get started with that. But anyways, this is like my favorite one. Um, and this is the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash. I really love this stuff. Next thing up is a moisturizer, and this is by Garnier. This is the Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream, and this is in normal to combination skin. And um, I really like this. It's almost like done. Like I need to go grab a new one. But I really like this moisturizer just because it actually refreshes my face. Like it moisturizes very well and it also gives me like that refreshing feeling in my face. Like if I just splash like a bottle of water or like a splash of water on my face. And I love that feeling, especially in the summertime where there's always so much heat. I feel like throughout the day this keeps my face feeling like very cool and very like um hydrated next we're going to continue with my favorite 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 primer and i can't say that enough just so you guys can know that this is actually like my favorite primer in the whole wide world honestly to be honest with you until this primer i never used primer ever before like to prime my face before my foundation so this is like the first primer that I ever tried out and I absolutely love it. And this one is by Tarte and it's called the Blur Primer. And this is like my sixth bottle already. This one is already like gone as well. Um, this is how much I love it. It's a very like thick, um, very thick consistency, but it does not feel like that on the skin at all. It's very, it's like a very firm base and it definitely blurs out any imperfections. Like when I'm telling you this blurs out anything, it blurs out anything. All right, so next we're going to move on with my favorite eye brushes. They're a little bit dirty because I just use them. Like I said, they're my favorite. So I use them almost like every single day when I'm doing my makeup. I don't do my makeup every single day, by the way, but whenever I do do my makeup, these are like the, my favorite top brushes, even on my clients. I have doubles, I have, um, for my clients and then for me. So, um, the first brush that I'm going to pick up is a crease brush and this one is the 228 Luxie Crease Brush and it's by Zoeva. Um, I really, really love their brushes just because they're very soft. This is like my favorite one from them. I also have one, but this is the 228. And it's very good to just go in the crease. Like if you want to blur, like blend anything out, this would be your brush. I really like this brush to like blend out. Now to give a little bit more definition, there's another Soeva brush, which is the 221. And this is also a crease brush. And this one gives you a little bit more of a definition as opposed to this one. This one is more like to blend out and then this one is more like for definition, if you can tell, it's a little bit more like pointier. So yeah, these are the two side by side. They kind of look the same, but trust me, they're not. These are boxes. This brush is like my favorite, favorite, favorite. Like this one is like the best. This is like the best brush if you're having trouble with um, blending like you're well not blending if you're having trouble with like a cut crease and you can't seem to like get the cut crease or like you don't have a good brush to pack on color but that is also going to like blend it out this morphe 513 brush this thing right here is a lifesaver when i first started doing cut creases i remember that i was having a very very hard time um i would even cry out of frustration because i couldn't get it right and this brush actually helped me a lot it just makes my life so much easier and it gets right into your crease like a good way to find out where your crease is you could tilt your head back a little bit and then where you see like that line that's between like the brow bone and the eyelid that's where your crease is just in case you didn't know but this brush is amazing for that like you need to get it 
Next brush is from a set and the name already rubbed off from it. That's how much I've used it. This is from a Carity Cosmetics set and I will be leaving the set down below in the description bar so you guys can check it out. I love all the brushes that came in the set and my favorite ones are this one that this is like a concealer brush. It's very dense. It's my favorite one. I use this to apply concealer under the eyes if I need to and also mostly I use this brush to carve out my brows. Um, I really really love this brush for this like literally I can't go without it like I need if I can't find it I can't do anything like I mean I would do something like I would find figure my way out of it but this brush I just need to like every single day I cannot live without it like I just gotten that used to it and it's absolutely my favorite next brush is a Morphe E E23 and this is from the Elite Collection. They also have a, um, I believe, I'm not sure if it's still going on, but I heard that they had like a 40% discount on the Elite brushes because they were going to redo them all over again. But you can go ahead and check that out. Hopefully it's still on and you guys can get your hands on this. But this is an E23 and this brush is so soft. This brush feels like pillows on your eyelids. Like, I absolutely love this brush and you guys need it in your life once again everything here you're gonna need it in your life <laughs> but yeah i really love this brush to blend anything out any harsh lines that you may have in your crease in your eyelids next brush is from oh my god <laughs> the names are like literally rubbed uh, rubbed off of this <laughs> but this is from veramona and this doesn't have an, a name but i'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use it a lot on my channel but this is the, a, I call it a double-ended brush. <laughs> I just made up a name for it because it doesn't really have a name. But this is from Veramona. And this side right here is absolutely the softest thing in the whole wide world. Like, literally. This is the softest thing I've ever, like, touched in a brush. Like, it's just amazing. And then this side right here is just a really small and dense shader brush. But it's synthetic. So, um... Like to apply my ColourPop shadows, it's the only thing that I use because it's just so small. It gets right in your lid. It gives your eye the definition that it needs and it applies the shadow so well, especially ColourPop shadows that they're like with a wet, moist texture. They're not meant for every eye shadow brush. So this one is definitely my favorite to use with that. And you know, this is gonna be a long video, so you better grab some. <laughs> tequila some pina colada some coffee like whatever you're addicted to you better grab that because this is gonna be long <laughs> but anyways we're moving on to concealer and i am going to be starting by a concealer that i love to use to carve out my brows i don't really use this concealer to highlight or anything like that but if i had no other option then i would totally use it as well because i like it that much this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills 1.0 and this has a very like yellowed undertone so I really really like it because of that. Next up is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and this is in Y31. This is also a yellow, has a yellow undertone. Um, I really like this one for the summertime just because it's very lightweight on the skin and it looks very natural. A dupe to this one I think would be the Maybelline um, 20 sand beige 20 no 20 sand sorry um the maybelline in the shade 20 i think this would be a really good dupe to this one by makeup forever just that this one is a little bit lighter but this one is perfect for summer even better just because this one is like way more lightweight and it looks way more natural on the skin and it doesn't like make you feel like you have a whole bunch of like makeup or concealer on this one is the naked skin by urban decay i've been using this one for a few months now and it's absolutely my favorite as well Moving on to two foundations that I think will be perfect in the summertime is the first one up is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea and I have the shade Tan. Um, this would definitely like, this is like a little bit slightly dark on me but I didn't change it just because of the fact that I will be getting darker in the summertime and I feel like this foundation is perfect for that because it's very lightweight on the skin. You barely feel like you have anything on. like. Another foundation that I just picked up yesterday, which you can see is in the packaging and I use it today, 
um, and it was pretty hot here in New York so I really think this foundation is going to be perfect for the summertime as well and this is the Naked Skin by Airbus AK. This is their new foundation and I love the packaging of this foundation and I also love that it has a pump so that's my favorite thing about this foundation and the only thing about it is that it's not super super full coverage it's more on the light to medium coverage but you could definitely build it up um which is a good thing and then also a bad thing as well because i feel like you will be wasting this foundation very quickly just because of the fact that if you're like me and you like a full coverage foundation you'll be having to apply at least three to five pumps <laughs> that sounds like a lot but the foundation is just that like um but yeah that's the only thing that i don't like about it other than that it feels very lightweight on the skin very cooling very refreshing you feel like you have nothing on all day it lasts pretty much all day and this will be also perfect for the beach and the pool if you do that you know if you want to just lay all day <laughs> and this has spf 20 so it's perfect for that Next, we're moving on with bronzers, highlighters, and powders. I think for the summertime, I like to be very, I like to look very blonde. Oh, I'm very bronzed. <laughs> I like to look very bronzed and glowy. So my top picks for the summertime, Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. And I don't know what it is with my things just like scratching off, like everything just scratches off. But I'm not completely sure what shade this is. I'm so sorry. I just I just I had to look for it because I was using this a lot last summer, so I'll have to like deeply look into my pictures on Instagram and figure out what shade this was because I don't know at all right now. It's like scratched off. But this is what the bronzer looks like. It's a it has a very beautiful compact and it's like on the warmer tones. I don't know if you could see that. It's like warm, but it's like the perfect amount of warm. Like it's not too orange and it's not too cool. So I absolutely love that. And it also is waterproof. So if she wants to take you swimming on the first date, she got you. Next up is the NYX Stay Mad But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And this is a powder foundation, but I like to use it as my bronzer. And this is in the shade Caramel. I just feel like it's it gives you a more like natural finish and it's very easy to blend um i hit pan already so i do have to pick up a new one but as you can tell this is definitely like my favorite bronzer ever okay, so now we're going to be talking about blushes and as you guys know my favorite tones in blushes are like corally peachy tones so um you already know this is like my obsession, this is by Tarte, and this is in the shade Captivating. This is one of their Amazonian clay um, blushes, and this one is my absolute favorite. I use it in every single video and all the time, basically. But I recently discovered this one by Sigma, and this is in the shade Cora de Rosa. I really, really like this um, blush because it's very similar to the Tarte one, but I don't know. They're similar, but they're not. Like, how can I explain it? I feel like Cora de Rosa is a little bit more, like, peachy and orangey. I don't know. But I've really been loving these two, but you guys know that this one is very blush palette. This is by Zoeva, and it's called the Coral Spectrum. I really like this blush palette for when I am traveling. This recently came out, but this is a perfect um, option for when you're traveling. It has, like, it's peachy, um... It's peachy blush, peachy blush. It has like a nudie type of peachy blush. Then it has like a more like corally pinks. Um, and I really like this, like I said, for traveling. Also, I bring this in my kit with me all the time just because it has four shades of the colors that I like the most to use on my clients and on myself. So yeah, this is the Zoeva Coral Spectrum Blush Palette. Isn't it so pretty? Like Next, we're going in with highlighters. Oh, is the Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca. Um, this is just perfection. Pretty sure you guys already know how it looks like, how it swatches, but it's perfection. Like, literally, I hit pan. When do you ever hit pan on a highlighter? You gotta love it that much. 
Next highlighter is the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love, love, love this just because it's travel friendly. It has four highlighters. What else do you need when you go on vacation? You know what I mean? Like, it's travel friendly. You can bring this in your kit if you're a makeup artist and you won't have to travel with a hundred different um, highlighters. First up is this one by Gerard Cosmetics, which I am using right now on my lips. And this one is in the shade Mercury Rising. This is one of their Hydra Mats, so it's basically like a liquid lipstick, but it's hydrating, if that makes sense. Um, it's very comfortable to wear, and I absolutely love their Hydra Mats. They're very comfortable, very hydrating, but they're also on the matte side. I do have a coupon code that I will be leaving down below, as, long, as well as the link to this um, liquid lipstick. I also have another one from Gerard Cosmetics, but this one is is a lip gloss. This is in the shade Cocoa Bean. Actually, let me swatch these for you so you guys can see because you guys just need to see. So this is Mercury Rising. And it's a beautiful like coral, orangey, red toned liquid lipstick. But it's more like on the orange side than the red. This one is in the shade Cocoa Bean, but this is a um, lip gloss. And when you open it up, it illuminates. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or if the camera is like catching that. But it is a beautiful like brown. It's like a bean, like Cocoa Bean, just how it's just like the name. But it's like a beautiful brown lip gloss, and it's very very pigmented. I absolutely love it for the summertime. This is Cocoa Bean. I hope you guys can see that. Another bright coral like orange lipstick is um, by Lipland. This one is from the Amarizi collection in the style in the shade style. <laughs> in the shade Brooklyn. And this one is absolutely stunning. Let me just swatch it right next to that one. This is kind of like I don't know. It's just such a unique shade. Like it's like pink and orange and red at the same time. Like it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. It makes a statement, trust me. Next up are two lipsticks. Well, there's one liquid lipstick and there's a lip gloss and these are by Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Jenna, you know who she is. Um, and I have the shade Dolce K, and I absolutely love this formula. Like, it's not drying, it's very similar to the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte. Like, it's really hydrating on the lips and doesn't feel uncomfortable throughout the day, but just like, I don't know, it's very similar. And this is in the shade Dolce K. I really, like I said, I am like obsessed with warm brown tone on my lips. Summertime, not summertime, anytime. <laughs> That's Dolce K right there. And then we have her lip gloss in Like. And this is the only shade that I picked up just because, um, like I said, I like the like more brown, taupey colors on my lips. And yes, I have the new wand. <laughs> And this is how the lip gloss looks. If you pair it up with Dolce, it'll be like a perfect match. So this is like, and then this is Dolce. All right guys, so this concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you go out and buy some of the things that I recommended. I am pretty sure you will love them just as much as I do. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and I also do have a Facebook. I will be leaving all the information down below. So check me out. And I'm not sure if I mentioned Instagram, but I'm pretty sure I did, but I don't remember. But follow me on Instagram too, girl. You know, let's be friends. But anyways, I hope to see you guys very soon, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.